Hi. Hi. She looks very, very excited. Look at this cute little girl. You're gonna be okay. In the meantime, look at this little guy. You wanna go inside with me and be bottle fan? I'm kind of worried about you. Take me anywhere that you want. I don't even care if we come back again. And as long as the stars are shining above us, then I just want to be with you. So I'm gonna put Annabelle in her stall because she's been hiding behind the goat house and she only wants to hang out with me. So that's a clear sign, at least for Annabelle, that she is having some contractions or in some pain. So I'm gonna put her inside. So it is 2.47. We finally put her in a kidding stall about an hour ago or so she was having a little bit still left of ligaments but she was hiding behind the goat house she is eating but for a little bit and then she would leave she doesn't want anybody around her she's been headbutting every single one she seems to be handling everything pretty good, which I'm happy because she's so dramatic. So I'm going to stay with her and when I see something to update, I'll let you know. Well, it's about 8.30 and I don't see a lot of progress. But I'll keep waiting. She seems to be just fine. When they're in labor, it seems like that's the only time that they want to be touching the other. I always thought that it brings some kind of relief. As you can see, it, my hand is cold and it's so full of milk right now that it's very, very hot. Hmm? Annabelle? Are we gonna have loads of children today? Oh, you're, you look very, very excited. There's a party in the next stall. You sure you don't want to go there? No. You just want her otter massaged. Okay, go massage your otter. I'm gonna go get the tripod. And I'm gonna do chores because Despite her miserable look, she's not really close, I don't think. If anything, she's taking me longer to leave because she likes that I'm massaging her udder and she likes to be pet and pampered and loved as she works through her contractions. Now, as far as milking, this is how much Mocha is giving me in the morning. And 
just like that. I'm telling you, it was 10 minutes. She didn't make a sound. She didn't scream. She didn't struggle. And look what we got here. Look what we got. Hi, baby. Annabelle is being the best mother. <laughs> she is cleaning them. By the time I got here, they were there. There was a lot of fluid on the floor or on the straw, but she had cleaned her faces and <laughs> oh my goodness, it is so good to see this happen. I mean, I always try to be there for my girls, but you know, it's just so cool to see that they they can do it. So. Hi! Have you been nursing? This guy is a little cold. It's not cold, and yes, I said this guy that I think is pulled. And I'll show you, but he is so so big oh hi i don't have a teeth as always i'm flattered but i don't i am your, not your mama although i am your grammy and so we could be friends <laughs> this is the one that is trying to nurse from my knee Oh, you're such a good mama, Annabelle. I love you so much. You're a good, good girl. I know, I don't have a teeth, but I'll take you to one, okay? This silver boy is kind of concerning me because he won't get up. Uh, it's probably just that he was uh, the most cramped in there, or... I know, I know, I know. We got it. We got this, okay, baby? We got this. I got you. I'm gonna draw you. I know it sucks. It sucks when somebody else needs to drive a little boy. Oh my gosh, he is so, so cute. <laughs> he is a silver, but he has some black. I'll show you. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Are you okay? Hi, sweet boy. So, I think this too. Our boys. Hi, baby. But as you can see, there's a kind of a big size difference. Let me see if this moisture, or if it's this. There we go. This is a little boy, I think. Let me let me see. Let me double check. Do you have balls? Oh my goodness, he has balls. See how big this little silver and black boy is? He is ginormous. But I'm leaving the very best for last. I'm gonna show you because my sweet Annie gave me one girl. Finally, she gave me one girl. I know. I'm such a terrible grandmother, huh? Yeah, I know. Let me see you. Rub them. Oh, you just put your butt in front of the camera, little boy. <laughs> he is similar coloring to Taz. I know, I'm flattered, but I don't have a teeth in my... Go drink some milk from there. Your sister is... Oh my gosh, she looks like a... She came out of a massacre. Go drink milk. Look at our little girl! Oh my gosh! I swear, Annabelle, she always... She always has the most beautiful children! <laughs> Look at this cute little girl! Look at her! She's brown! <laughs> she has white and some black I think she's gonna have horns. 
I think maybe it's just because it's being slippery. I know, I'm sorry. I know, I'm so sorry, but you have your your mama's blood everywhere. I, she's okay. She's okay. She's okay. You can smell her. But look at this beautiful girl. I mean. Yes, she's a girl. Oh my. I kind of feel bad that she did it on her own, but I'm so proud of her. I am so proud of you. So proud of you, Annabelle. See, that little boy is latching because he's been there for a while. you go. Have you had any milk? Oh, she has milk. Look, right there. There. Hi, I don't know what the colors of your eyes are. What are you? You have like a cloudy color. Yeah. Ooh, you're doing such a great job. Your sister doesn't have any teats. No, not yet. I mean, she does, but they're not full of milk. Go find your teat. Hi, Annie. You like, Mom? Mom, open your legs. I'm trying to go through. Go, go through, young lady. Hi. I think you'll have blue eyes. Uh, that's the color that Tass's eyes look like. Look at that. <laughs> She's the only one that throws um, this kind of buckskin, like with the little black cape. She's the only one that does that. I don't know why. Last year, Tass, and then this year, this little boy. And of course, our mandatory ginormous silver was trying to get milk from her chest, I guess. <laughs> Look at this. He for sure will have blue eyes. Uh, the other ones, oh, you wanna, oh, thank you. Thank you for cleaning me up. I do smell like your babies. What I've learned since I started doing this is that I need to milk the moms into a bottle when there's more than two babies and I'm not being able to keep up who is nursing and who is not then I need to see milk it into like a regular baby bottle and just feed it to them um, with newborns I find that it's best if I just hold them like this like kind of close their mouth gently as they are drinking and that way I know she had her colostrum I'm gonna grab this little boy man here uh, okay yes look oh, okay go with your mama go find your teeth I mean I'm encouraging them to find their teeth but I'm also making sure that they are having colostrum and <laughs> she wants milk too. It's okay. <sighs> you want more? And they need like a percentage of their weight. And since they're so little, they don't need too much. So I push it on them until I see they're drinking. But then I don't push it too, too much. I just want to make sure that they do have colostrum. See, I pushed it a couple of times. And now I encourage him to go find the teeth. Come here, my boy. Come here. Come here, sweet boy. Come here. Now drink your mama's colostrum. Come on, you can do this. Annie, you're making it hard on me if you're just trying to clean my hands. Come on. Come on, baby. Now I bumped her and... It seems like there's nothing. There's something kind of hard 
just right against her udder. And I don't see the big bubble. And uh, now she's kind of antsy. So I don't know. Maybe she has another one and she's gonna take a minute. I'll keep an eye on her until she passes the placenta. Why are you, my wee boy? It's not really cold today, baby. I know. I know. We're gonna become good friends, okay? You're gonna end up loving you, Grammy. Yeah. Well, you better. Okay? You better. Because I really do love this cute baby boy. Hey. He really do love my grandchildren. I feel like they're still cold. I haven't got Annabelle her great yet, but I was worried about this little boy. Well, that is ginormous with the longest legs I've ever seen. So I'm teaching him the deep Grammy. And Grammy will keep it warm. And rub him until he feels all good. <laughs> this is what kids are so useful for when <laughs> they have their babies. Because I can always leave one of the babies with one of the kids and they will rub them like to s stimulate them. But I think he was cold. Even though we're probably in the 60s, I think he just was very, very cold. There you go. Mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm not holding him, he just wants to be there. And he had colostrum. And he, not only from the bottle, but also from his mom. But if you look at the other kids, well, that little boy is acting a little um, quiet, but, you know, this one was the biggest, and I think it's the one that is taking him the longest to warm up and to kind of get a grip in his walking because he was pretty. I mean, look at this. He is super long and super big, so I'm sure he was all curved into a ball. You're gonna be okay. I still don't know the color of his eyes. But I am almost 100% that he is pulled. Almost 100%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just need extra love from Grammy. That's all you need. Yes, yes, yes. No medicine. No mommy. Just Grams. Grams giving you kisses. And I'm pretty sure he's staying just because he's warm. He was pretty cold. Because, again, she had them very close. To kill. I can't believe you. You're so stinking cute, little girl. Um, oh, oh, she found mama. She found her mama. Oh, that's, that's her chest. In the meantime, look at this little guy. You wanna go inside with me and be bottle fed? Kinda worried about you. You wanna come sleep with us? I think you're so 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 tired. Your brother over here, he's sleepy. And he decided to go find mommy because now he's warm. And so he all of a sudden got hungry. That's not where it is, though. Okay, let me help this little boy. Did you find the teeth? I don't think you did. 
Okay, let me see if I can point you to the right direction. Right here. Right here. Oh, there it is. Oh. He just wants a piece. It's not there. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit more over there. Oh, there. He found it. Yay! Oh, thank you for your kisses. They're so sweet, Annie. Thank you. I love your children already. Hi. Hi. I thought after I bumped her that she was done. And she could be because this could be just the stuff from the baby and that just the bubble for the placenta. You know how the bubble for the placenta is always bigger? after giving birth to all the kids and then yes. the placenta came girl number two what are you doing oh he is being to birth he just like grandmamas okay you can lay down honey you can lay down i'll Carmel. take care of your children if you want i'll take Carmel. she's very lost That's right. okay. so i'm gonna try to do this right here just to not stress him. Hi, you baby. Okay, let's do our little girl first. Okay, she is two pounds, 10 ounces. <laughs> Hi, sweet boy. Hi, my babies. I know. It's gonna be so traumatic. Three pounds, two point. Out this little guy. Hi, my love. You're ginormous. So, nobody said this would be easy, right? Nobody said that. Baby goats are little. And he is four pound eight ounces. I opened the door. It's later in the afternoon. And I put everyone inside, gave them some food. And now I opened the door. And we'll see if Annabelle wants to come out with her babies for a little bit to stretch her legs.